Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Steelwing 33 Plays Chroma Squad. I'm Steelwing 33, and hello, everybody. How's it going? Last time, we had a pretty successful mission against uh, the giant. I like, had a bunch of like mech missions, basically, and it went totally fine. Everything was pretty great. Uh, this episode, we got two episodes left in the season before the season finale starts, and so I'm very excited to get into this. So let's go. What the hell is that thing? Here comes a new ch um, a monster lurking around the city. Time to put your guy plan into action. What a mastermind. I will consume all the gravel humans leave behind every day on these sites. And then become the most powerful gravel creature ever made. The more I consume, the more I can turn the humans into stone. <laughs> it's time to eat. I really hope that voice isn't like the most annoying thing in history, because I like it. I think it's funny. This looks like the best starting point for this plan. So much gravel around. Yeah. Yum 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 yum. Gotta have some gravel. Liang, how's things? So long we so long we don't see each other. Hey Scott, and I've been looking for dinosaur fossils at this construction site. You? Well, I've been waiting for the Steel Squad of Just to appear. They seem to favor deserts and construction sites. And if they show up, I'll be around with some oil paintings. Uh, Timothy, this is the place where you wanted to record your new horror movie. Yeah, Raphael, uh, what brings you around? Uh, shredding these streets with my new longboard. What up? That's what I need, a bunch of random people. Yes, I'm starting with them. Yeah, I just ignore the camera crew. These wily devs spy me so far from the NPCs. Yeah, almost there. <laughs> Turn to stone, both of you! What? Wait, no! <laughs> Enough talking, you two stones! Now, you two stones. Two stuff? No! <laughs> Soon I will turn this entire town to stone. The Gravel Lord then proceeded with Lord Gaga's maleficent plan. Cerebro warned the Steel Squad of Just about the threat at the construction site. And our heroes arrived to save the day. I just realized there were two the there were two thes um in that last line. Look, there's the creature. You there. I didn't expect people to come to me, but it here is convenient. Weird creature, why did you do that to those people? You turned them into stone. That's what I'm going to do, and that's what I'll keep doing as long as I consume gravel. And by the look of it, you're next. All right, I was getting broiled in some combat. Hopefully this goes better. I just recorded some Darkest Dungeon, and holy crap, that went really bad. Th these episodes won't come out for not to not. They'll come out on, on Wednesday. This episode will probably come out. But holy crap, those Darkest Dungeon episodes. The game's real brutal when it wants to be. When you're on the bad side of um of the rolls, you get your, get your ass kicked real quick. Next time, don't do evil. Good, 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 uh, good advice there, Devil. All right, let's get some. Let's get into some positions, and we will see what we shall see. Yes, I really enjoy this game. I, uh, you know, I sort of picked it on a lark because I was looking for something sort of like XCOM to play. And uh, I've been meaning to come back and actually beat this game at some point. Like, you know, I played it a while back, and I, I got decently far into it. I think I got into season three. Um, I got to the I got to the episode with the wood dude, uh, with the tree man, tree beard. Uh, that episode was the last one I remember doing. And uh, you know, I am uh, I'm happy I did. I really am. There are a few things that I enjoy more than a solid... You know, I should be teamworking. What am I doing? I should be doing teamwork, and then we should be coming over here 
I should have been doing flips and shit to try to generate audience so I can get the... Yeah, that was dumb. I don't know why I did that. Probably because I forgot that mechanic exists. Probably. I'm gonna go with that. Defeat the bot. Oh, we have to win in ten turns? Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, then we definitely should have been doing that, because that was... that was dumb. Oops. Um, oh well. That's alright. We will... Let's do a team attack, then. Yeah, we'll do a team attack, so that'll be fine. Alright, come here. Come here. We should have done a flip. We should be gener we should just be trying to generate audience. That should be goal number one at the beginning of every mission is just generate audience. That means do flips, do team attacks. Uh, once we're in, you know, Power Ranger mode, once we're rangered up a little bit, should be fine. You know what we'll do is we will drag, we will steal eyes, we'll niv them, bring everybody closer to the boss. Let's go! Steel eyes! Alright, cool. Uh, and then the boss ran away like a goddamn coward. So let's go ahead and stab the crap out of him with daggers. Gravel Lord. I like I like the enemy design in this, because it does it does really remind me of um, an episode of the Power Rangers. I feel like I feel like this ability would be much, like, isn't good, which I think is weird, because, like, normally, normally I've got a good feeling about most of the stuff that I end up using in this. Let's flip this way. Good. Then we'll flip over here. Or we'll do bow attack. Bow attack! Yeah. All right. Yeah, normally, normally I've got a better feeling about stuff. That trample attack seemed really good on paper, because it was like, move really far and then do damage while running. And it just it turned out not to be the case, which sucks, but whatever. You know, you can't win them all. Okay, so let's do this. Come over here. Oh, okay, that's right. I forgot I can't actually do that. So let's go there. Maybe this trample will... Yeah, alright, cool. We killed one of them. Then we'll do a square house kick. We kill another one. Boom! And we dealt damage to the boss. Aim pleased. Aim pleased. Come here, you. Boink. Cut this guy with the sword. And then we'll do sniper cat. Oh, I also... I changed out Bravo 3's gun. Um... Which I didn't mention. So Bravo 3 and Nivum both got new weapons. I think I upgraded Mini Lint Roller's bow. I don't know, don't quote me on that. I don't remember offhand actually whether or not I did. Oh crap, are you kidding me? So many bad guys. Oh, shit. Okay, um I'll come here. I'll wipe this guy out, I guess. this guy out. We're, we're running... running into some problems. Which I'm not pleased to admit, to be honest. But these problems are not... Hmm. We're running out of turns to deal with to deal with everything. Uh, who's still the most hurt? Stevie Phil's still pretty hurt, so let's heal him. That uh, big ass heal. Big ass heal feels good. Well, we got, what? Three more turns, two more turns to finish this up. It's fine. We're still fine. Okay. I think we're still fine. Yes. So let's have. Let's have Lead pull him in. That should do it. So, we pulled him in. It's teamwork. Good. Alright. Yeah, we got this. Got this in the bag. Teamwork. Come here. Teamwork. Then hit the boss. Good. Super Steel Strike! Awesome. Whew. That was actually a little nerve-wracking. Um, I didn't think we were going to pull that one off. <laughs> 
not in ten turns. That was that was almost that was almost very difficult. Um, well, it was very difficult. What am I thinking? Do you think you're faster than me? Are you prepared to face the biggest pile of gravel ever made? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, hey, guys. Wow, thanks a lot, Steel Squad of Just. Look, they're turning into real people again. All right, time to skate. Once again, Steel Squad of Just saves the day. Yes, it worked. Words cannot describe how happy I am for backing them on Kickstarter. I'm alive. <laughs> It worked! We're all saved! Or we saved all the people. That huge rocky thing is still an issue we have to take care of. Steel Zord! Showtime! I like- there's a part of me that like wants to actually film... Uh... The Steel Squad of Justice. Like, I think that could be really fun. We're gonna get a lot of hits in. So we started out with 117 because I upgraded the Precision Striker. The um left arm augment for the steel zord which increased our chance to hit by like i think it was like six or seven percent or something like that uh but bottom line there is that we we now have two guaranteed hits uh we're guaranteed to hit the boss twice before we really start running into even the a chance of missing and if i didn't fucking get rolled into oblivion today holy crap between this and darkest dungeon I'm glad I'm not doing X count right now because we'd have like full squad wipes and like the whole let's play would be ruined at this point. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, I'm actually getting a little tilted here. Uh, like we're missing like 87% rolls here, which like, holy crap. Why? Please? Please, game. 87% is a very good odds in my favor. That's really, really unfortunate. Yeah, we lost a lot of HP to just utter horse crap. Maybe it, like, knew my strategy. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe the game's becoming alive, and it knows. No, but this should hit. Okay, and this one should hit. Good. And we should be able to get a five-hit combo every single round. Um... Which should make our lives a lot easier. Yeah, like, we should be able to do this. And this one. This one should be pretty in our favor. This one should be in our favor as well. Okay. Let's see, a 67? Willing to bet that that's like only slightly better than 50-50. I'm willing to assume that maybe I just rolled bad the one time. But we're a quick big game. 87%, that's 2 to 3 odds, man. Better than 2 to 3 odds. 3 to 4 odds. Better than 3 to 4 odds. Because 3 to 4 is 75%. Let's, uh, we'll punch him again. And then that one didn't land, so we'll we'll do the sword strike to finish him. I want that healing before the next round starts, and I needed to make sure we didn't get hit by the special move, because that would be painful. Two. Three. Four. Fuck. If we had gotten, like... I think if we get six, I'll definitely do Precision Strike, and then I'm pretty sure the Chest Cannon would wipe somebody out from, like, 4,000 HP. Don't quote me on that, because I don't actually... I have to crunch the numbers a little bit. But you can see, so every time we punch, this little meter goes up. Um, I don't think I ever actually explained how this works. I sort of just rolled with it and figured it was simple enough that it would take an expl... Like, it didn't bear explain explaining, I guess. But, oh well. And the game didn't tutorialize this at all either. It just sort of put me in here with a bunch of buttons and was like, click the buttons. And I was like, okay, I mean, sure, why not? Alright, let's, uh, we'll do a safety check here. I'll just punch him here with the precision striker. And then we'll do the unibeam for style points to finish off the boss. Not bad. Not too shabby. None too shabby, if I do say so myself. Alright. Two things of gold tape, wood board, and glass shards. Lots of audience. Feels good, man. Oh. Got plenty of money. It might be in our favor to try to get some stuff that's like audience conversion. All hail the cardboard god. Oh, sweet. So, cardboard boxes, we have like none of them. But, um, we can turn those cardboard boxes 
into wood. And then we can turn that wood into metal. And we can turn the metal into mecha parts. Because what do we need? We need one piece of metal to finish upgrading some of our parts. This needs to become purple. This needs to... I think I'm going to upgrade this. I need to get alien cardboard. Which sucks, but whatever. Um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about trying to do other legs, but I feel like that these are just the best ones. It's basically just increased health and stuff, which I think is good. Uh, but that'll be something I worry about between episodes. So thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, let me know. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date uh, when I post more videos. And if you really like what you saw, leave a like. It helps the channel grow. It helps me out a great deal. And of course, with that, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!